Hey you guys, it's Rohan. Uh, so I've been doing some okay numbers on my Instagram Reels lately and I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me how I use Adobe Premiere Pro to put my Instagram Reels together. So I thought why not put a tutorial out just to help you guys learn Adobe Premiere Pro as well and help you put your Instagram Reels together. I'll be showing you some tips and tricks along the way. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and yeah, let's just dive right in. Now that we have Adobe Premiere Pro open, I'm just gonna go and create a new sequence. So this is the sequence settings that I use for my Instagram Reels. I use a 1080 by 1920, that's a vertical 9 by 16 ratio. I use maximum bit depth and composite linear format. And yeah, we're just gonna use frame 3.976 frames by second. And yeah, we're just gonna open it and create a new sequence. Now that we have a new created sequence, we're just gonna use this and like put all our sequences and pull our songs and tracks on this timeline. So once we have a new sequence open, what I like to do is import my tracks and my sequences or the clips that you're, you're gonna be using for the Instagram reel and organize them into folders. I try to keep my folders organized, it just helps to increase the rate of the workflow and it just helps to keep you organized. So what we're going to do now is maybe drag one of those, one of these clips to our timeline and yeah, we're going to see what it looks like. So when you probably, when you probably import one of your clips to the timeline, it's just going to say clip mismatch warning. Probably because your clip's dimensions are 1920 by 1080 because it's a horizontal file. If you shoot a vertical file, it might probably come up and say that, but it probably won't, won't matter much because it's a vertical file. If you're trying to put a horizontal file and you're trying to use the same settings, just click on keep existing settings and it's just gonna, it's just gonna fix the frame rate of the clip to the, to the size of the sequence. What I like to do next is scale it to the frame size and then I can, when, once it's zoomed out, I can like zoom in exactly how I want it to and then I can, I can stop where I want it to and like adjust the position of the, adjust the position of the clip. And yeah, that's, that's probably how I poured my pictures or like my clips to the timeline. And yeah. So once we have done that, we're trying to, or a soundtrack or like a sound to the timeline. We just put it there, we zoom it out. And yeah, what I like to do next is maybe try finding like cuts in the cuts in the songs and try putting try adding my transitions or try changing the clips on like the uh, on like the cuts of the song. That really helps to put it, transitions to the beats of the song and yeah it just like adds to the effect. So we, what we can try doing it now is just drag another of these clips to the timeline. Maybe shorten this one out a little bit. Drag this one. Drag this one in. And yeah. As you can see, it's prob not properly rendered, but this is what we can do. And if you've been shooting at 19, 20, 1080, you probably shouldn't be worried about scaling in because Instagram does compress your Instagram Reels as well, so it won't affect your video quality that much anyways. So yeah, that is basically how I do it. I'm probably gonna add like a couple more, a couple more sequences or a couple more clips to the sequence I'm gonna add my color grade to it and then I'm just gonna export it at the settings so yeah I'm just gonna put a quick time lapse of how I do it and yeah I'll just show you how it looks at the end Now that I have something that I'm happy with, I'm just gonna throw on some color grade and just gonna be exporting it on the same sequence. So yeah, I'm just gonna shift to a time lapse of me color grading and you're gonna see how much of a difference it makes. 
So now that I've finished color grading and like finalizing what I feel like is gonna be looking good for the sequence, I'm just gonna head to I'm just gonna head to file, export media, and so I export in H.264 format. That's the Blu-ray, and we're gonna leave the bitrate as high as it is. We can rename that to anything we want. We can rename that to anything. We can need, name it at real. Real one. Click on save. And you shouldn't change any of these uh, the video settings for width and height because it's already matched to the source. And if you change it, it's gonna mess up the dimensions of the video clips and the sequences. So we're gonna leave everything as it is. Use maximum render quality is checked. You can you can use previews if you've already rendered it. It's just gonna just fasten up the process of rendering it. And yeah, we're just gonna click on export. And it's just gonna export it to your desktop or wherever you want it to be saved. And yeah, that is gonna be all. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope to see what you put out using Instagram Reels. And yeah, I hope you guys have been staying safe and healthy. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.